An acoustic guitar can be hard to get around. Bulky strings, bulky body. It's normal to just kind of want to give up and reach for the electric guitar instead. Yeah, I feel ya. But in this video, I'm gonna give you some simple exercises guaranteed to take your acoustic guitar playing to the next level. I'm Staff Sergeant Joey Bennett, and I play guitar and mandolin for the Six String Soldiers. Welcome to the Virtual Music Classroom presented by the United States Army Field Band. We connect and inspire people throughout the country and around the world, and we're here to give you the tools you need to play your best, share your passion, and change lives. All you'll need to jump in with me today is your acoustic guitar, metronome, capo, and a flat pick. If you'd like to follow along with the music, download the PDF linked in the description below. Okay, first, let's talk about pick grip. We wanna create a nice full sound with the guitar, and in order to do that, we're gonna hold the pick just like this. The reason for this is because the thumb is the strongest of the fingers and gives us a powerful downstroke. Since we're gonna be alternate picking, we wanna use our index, middle, and ring fingers to provide an equally balanced and full upstroke. I like to imagine holding an empty paper towel roll in my hand. Now that we have our grip, let's check our sound by slowly playing on the third string, alternating down and up strokes. Now that we have our grip down, let's make some music. I've always been a firm believer that if I'm gonna work on technique, it's best to put it towards something musical. I wanna show you a traditional and of course appropriate fiddle tune called Soldier's Joy. For this tune, we're gonna put our capo on the second fret and play out of a C position. I'm using one today to utilize the open strings that the guitar and capo enable us to play. Now let's set our metronome to 78. This is gonna be half the tempo of our tune and the beats will be on two and four. If this is a little challenging at first, that's okay. But as you'll see with time and practice, it will give you a better overall feeling of playing with the band and a better feel for the tune. One, two, one, two. Now that we perform the head or the melody of the tune, let's focus on the rhythm. This tune uses three basic chords that all guitar players use, C, F, and G. Since we're capoed up on the second fret, they will come out D, G, and A. Let's play the rhythm behind the melody, focusing on letting the bass or bottom string ring out to give a solid direction of where the harmony of the tune is going. One, two, one, two. Now that we have both the melody and harmony pieced together, let's hear how it sounds. One, two, 
One, two. Sounds like we've got the tune down. I'm gonna take some liberty with the melody and improvise a little within our C shape. I urge you all to do this and explore everything that is available to you. There are no right or wrong answers here, but I can guarantee if something sounds cool, then it is cool. I do this every day and it never gets old, just more fun and interesting. One, two, one, two. So now that we have learned some essential basics, made a nice big sound, and even learned a tune, I encourage you all to keep sonically exploring. There are countless great tunes that you could play while applying these fundamentals. Check out our performance, Fantastic Folk Tunes, in the link below that showcases many of these tunes. It's been a pleasure spending time with y'all today, and happy picking.